and a warm welcome to this mini tutorial showing you my approach to recreating the Google Chrome icon right here in Figma. It also gives me a chance to try out my radio announcer voice. So this week Google announced an update to the Chrome logo. Let's have a little look at this. So here you can see the progression over the years and uh, what we're interested in is the fact that back eight years ago, 2014, um, there was a slight shadowing, a bit of shading to give a bit of depth. And now uh, with this release this week, they've removed that shadowing and shading so it's more flat. The um, inner circles are slightly larger and there's a little bit more saturation uh, in the colors. So um, assessing the actual logo for uh, recreating it, uh, there's a couple of things. Um, so the angles here uh, need to recreate that, but also um, how to calculate where to place these points. So what I've done is uh, that I've approached it from the point of view 360 degree circle divided by three points equals 120 degrees. And so that helps me to locate them. And uh, I've got a little trick for placing those. So let's have a little look here. I've already set up the swatches and I've got a few circles, but um, let's, um, let's start from scratch. So you see what I'm doing pressing the O key to uh, create a circle. Let's bring back the toolbar and um, let's make this one, let's link that up, make it 280. And I'm going to just drag out a copy of that, duplicate it, Control D or Command D, and scale this down to, um, let's say 140. And this one, I'll do uh, 112. So that's those, they're going to form the uh, inner circles in a bit but let's work on this so how are we going to get the angles uh, on this so the way I've come up with this I'm splitting this circle with the arc tool and that activates this section here but on what I'm after is creating a little hole in the center and putting back to a hundred percent the circle so now we have this if you double click you can see the points inside now what we need to do is figure out the angles of where to place those new points to create those um, shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, over here, copy it, and give it a little bit of a less opacity, and then just center it up. So we have this effect. Okay. Next, I'll call up the rectangle tool with an R, and all I'm using this for is a little pointer. So I'm going to change this to a dark color like this. I'm going to angle it, uh, rotate it at 45 degrees and just need to place it center and top. So I'll just do a quick alignment. Then I'm just going to group that. And now you'll see when I turn it, you'll see over here the uh, angle indicator. And if I uh, hold the shift key, I go in increments and there's my 120 degrees. Now with that, I'm going to call up the rulers and you can do that with shift R bring down the ruler and get it to that point there. So that's pretty close. Now, I'm not going to need that anymore and I'm deleting it. So basically this line is giving me those points um, on the uh, actual logo uh, icon that um, coincides with this and this. So if I go back, now then, what we need to do is go in here and I'm going to do the pen tool. Press the P for the pen tool. I'm clicking here and I'm going to the right edge and it snaps very sharply there. Get back out, go back in, get the pen tool back and you'll see it's going to line up with this right here as I click there. Now what I want to do is get down to this line here. Zoom in a bit and basically I'm placing it right on that line on the edge there. So what I'm kind of doing here is, is splitting up the shape into these little areas by uh, extra lines added, which figure is great for this. So now we have these areas, but um, the whole shape is still one thing. You can't assign different colors like this, but you can with the paint bucket tool. I press B or click the paint bucket here, deactivate that, deactivate, reactivate that, and now I can actually go in here and change the colors just by uh, eyedropper tool like this and there we go so now here we have 
pretty close to finishing. All we've got to do now is line up these two things here. I'm going to go for that color there, that color there. All I have to do now is line all three up with a little click of these and that's it. Remove those lines and there we go. Now I did go pretty quickly through this so if anyone's got any questions and uh, feedback let me know that would be fabulous.